You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop, and it's the game of baloney. Fibbing fun for the whole family. For two to six liars, aged eight to adult, how good a liar are you? They got some game facts and the, uh, what's in the game there, and then how it works. I'll read that too. Read an obscure fun fact out loud. Decide to tell the truth or lie about it. Everyone tries to figure out what you're doing. The best at fooling the others is the winner. Includes complete instructions. Here's the back for you. As you can see, the whole family's there. Looks like the cards in their shape of baloney. TDC Games. There's some more text there. The problem with most games is that you have to tell the truth, but to play baloney, you decide to tell the truth with a little fib or even a huge whopper. We give you all the lies, but it's only when you fool the other players that you will win the game. All right. Well, let's uh, let's see what this is all about, winning the game. It looks like it's a piece of... Uh, it looks like it's actually packaged bologna that you get in the store. Kind of neat how they package this game. It's in a tin. And let's uh, see what we have. The bologna instructions. And then what looks to be a folding game board, which is really neat. That it's a cardboard game board. And then cards, cards, cards and pawn pieces. So, you know what, let me get it all unpacked and set up and then we'll go from there. Alright, here we go. This is everything that comes in your bologna tin. There is the board, which is foldable. There are the six pawns. There are the bologna cards, which is 192. 24 betting cards and the instruction sheet. So let's take a look at the instructions. We'll kind of just set this up. I'm not going to actually do a game play here. It's more to just show you everything that comes with it and how the game is played through the instructions. So let's uh, set up the game. Well, let's read this here. To be the first to score 30 points, or by fooling other players with the truth and lies, and by correctly, or by correctly predicting when other players are trying to fool you. So if you're really good at telling when someone is lying, and you're also really good at telling lies, you're going to do really well in this game, because you'll advance pretty fast. So the layout of the game board... Uh, lay out the game board and place the colored pawn for each player in the scoring ring space. March, start, win. Let's just take a quick look. I'll move the instructions over a little bit. And we'll just kind of set this up the best we can here. Okay, so let's just put a couple pawns here. Just for color. Place a deck of round bologna cards in a spot convenient to all players. So let's just move this uh, so we can all see them here. All right. And then after giving each player a set of baloney betting cards consisting of a one and two point truth card and a one and two point baloney card, play is ready to begin. So let's just say we have two players. So each one gets a one card. See, each one gets a two card. And then now we go to truth. So there's a one truth, one truth, two truth, two truth. So that's your advancement of spaces on the game board. Ones or twos. Okay. So now, it says, the person who bought this game always goes first. This is the least we can do now, that we, that we have his or her money. If the game's owner is not present, then the person who borrowed the game goes first. At least he or she is resourceful. Your turn. Play begins with the first player becoming the teller and reading one of the two baloney facts contained on his or her game card. To lie or tell the truth. The teller must then decide to lie by choosing the fib or whopper provided on the game card or to tell the truth, which is also provided. Read only one outcome. Baloney is not a multiple choice game. A player can only read one choice from a card, either the truth, the fib, or the whopper. Betting. After the baloney fact is read, all of the players secretly bet as to whether the statement is the truth or the lie. Players choose whether to bet one or two points on baloney that the teller is telling a fib or a whopper, or one or two points that it is the truth. Okay. After all the bets are placed face down, the truth is revealed. Players reveal their bets and move their pawns on the game board to indicate their score. Play then continues to the next player on the left become the new teller and reading one of the facts from his or her baloney card. Each baloney card has two baloney facts on it. Players should use the same card twice. If a game still continues after all the cards are read, New cards should be drawn as needed to finish the game. So the scoring, the teller scores all the points bet incorrectly by other players. So the tellers can move pretty far if he's really good at lying. And if the teller is told a whopper, 
these incorrect points are doubled. So if you're a really good liar, you've just doubled your place in moving. All other players can score the points they bet correctly and then move, but subtract the points they bet incorrectly with no whopper bonus. Each player's pawn is then moved on the board to reflect the change in their score. If you land on a double bonus space, the next point you receive or subtract will be doubled. So it'd be good to land on those. So the winner is the first player to score 30 points. And then there's a little information on who writes this stuff anyway. The game of baloney was written and conceived by Larry Balsamo and Sandra Bergeson, who some believe have been writing totally total baloney for the last 30 years, since they also wrote BS the game, falsies, and even this nifty little plug for themselves. These those people might be right. So that's tdcgames.com if you're looking for more information. Let's get on to the actual lying or the fibbing. Let's just look at a card. So now if I was the teller and I said that the dumbest breed of dog is to be the, is said to be the, and I want to try to get everybody totally wrong and double my points, I'm going to say Australian Sheepdog. And they're going to decide, hmm, he's telling the truth. This person would be totally wrong. Or this person decides to put, he's telling a fib. So then once it's revealed, then we know this person is wrong, this person is right. So basically, you move your pawn according to that. So let's, uh, let's read another one here. If you yelled for eight and a half years, you have emitted enough energy to heat a cup of coffee, power a forklift, light a city block for three days. So now I have to pick one. Remember, it's not multiple choice. But let me do this. While you're all watching, I'm going to take a card here, and I'm going to read it. And in the comments below, tell me if you think I'm a liar or I'm telling the truth. So, let's see here. And I'm not going to give you the answer in this video. I'll answer it in the comments later. The pressure cooker was invented in, 19, in 1679 when it was known as the Steamomatic. So everybody put your uh, lie or truth in the comments for the first question. And then let me uh, get another one here that looks kind of fun. It says here, to keep food from freezing, Eskimos pack it in a refrigerator. Hmm. Leave your answers below. We'll see what everybody comes up with, and then I will reveal whether they're truths or baloney. So now, of course, you're moving around the board, and everybody's having fun, and eventually, someone's going to get close to getting the right answer to win the game, because they're going to end up here, and they have now gone around the whole board. So what do you think about baloney? Are you good at lying? Because if you're good at lying, you might be good at this game. Can you look in someone's eyes and know right away that they are either telling the truth or lying? If so, then you'd probably be good at it also. So that is the game of baloney. I have to say, overall, probably one of the coolest thematic games I've seen in a long time. You got baloney there, you got baloney everywhere. Everything is shaped like baloney or has baloney. Speaking of baloney, does anybody else make faces when they eat their baloney? And how about this? Do you like fried baloney? I like fried baloney sandwiches. I think they're really good, but you can't fry these, even though it looks like they look edible. Like you want to take a baloney bread and take a bite right here here's your bologna sandwich give it a bite so there you go thanks for watching it's really appreciated if you like game videos check that description below later if you want to find this item click the link in the description area below the video you can also watch more videos in this series by clicking here thanks for watching and always remember if you see a lucky penny pick it up